first filmmaker visits a story and how it would not be recognized for over 125 years. Louis Le Prince was born in 1841 in Metz, France. His father was a major in the army and was friends with Louis de Janer, a man who was experimenting in the new industry called photography. With the recent invention of cameras, the race was on to improve image quality and time of exposure. Le Prince learned a lot under Daguerre, and when college came, he studied painting in Paris and later postgraduate chemistry in Germany. After graduating, he moved to England for work where he fell in love with his boss's sister and soon married her. By the late 1870s, the Le Prince family were headed to America for work. Le Prince was to be in charge of French American painters there. In the US, he developed a 16 lens camera in the race to invent viable motion picture. He figured if he shot at 16 frames per second, then the illusion of continuous motion would be achieved. This obviously had issues of wobbly film due to the offset caused by each frame being shot in a different part of the camera. He eventually invented the first single lens camera. In 1890, he was in France where he stopped to meet his brother, Albert, who saw him off at the station to Paris. After that, he would travel back to New York to present his invention of the century. But when the train arrived, it lacked one thing, Louis. Him and his luggage could not be found, and once reported to the authorities, a search had begun. The Dijon to Paris Expressway had no stops between the destinations, and with no stops in between, it is impossible for him to have left with no attention drawn to him. When questioned, Albert stated that he did, in fact, see his brother off. Speculation has been theorized, everything from suicide to Edison having Le Prince offed since he wanted the credit for the first film, Camera, which, after Le Prince disappeared, he got. After 125 years, Le Prince's invention was rediscovered to the public, and he is now finally given the credit due to him. Now over 130 years later, Thomas Edison is widely recognized for the fraud he was taking credit for his assistant's inventions and possibly even murdering a man. Now this man's legacy can live on. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. Also, it would be great if you would consider checking out the Patreon we have and becoming a patron. The link's in the description.